come to the eastern side of the park near Roehampton Gate. This is called Crown Field and I'm keeping my eyes peeled because this is a Skylark's breeding area and they're notoriously difficult to see. You hear them of course and their song is so uplifting. Their numbers though have been really declining over the last 40 years in the UK. They're down between 60 and 75 percent and they're on the RSPB red list which is why here in Richmond Park we're trying so hard to protect their breeding area. This is why the fences are here and this acid grassland is perfect for them. They breed down on the ground and they can use the anthills as a little bit of protection. But given that the park is so popular right now, particularly with dog walkers, we need your help. Jan, can I ask you first about the skylark and its characteristics? Uh, well, it's a small brown bird with a short crest, which sometimes it points upright. It lives in open areas like this grassland, and it has a very beautiful song, which it sings in a display flight. It's a very prolonged, beautiful warble with lots of trills and bubbling notes. What does it make you feel inside when you see or hear a skylark? It's the, it's the first, first sign of spring and it remi reminds me of living in the countryside as a child and going out and seeing them and thinking, wow, it's spring, summer's here. It's, um, they're an iconic bird of the British countryside. A sort of sign of optimism and new life, I suppose. Yes, it has a beautiful song, you know, celebrated in poetry and in music. It's part of our natural heritage, I think, and it's worth preserving. How many skylarks are in the UK now and, and what did the numbers used to be like? Well, they were a very abundant species up until the mid-70s. It's considered now a threatened species. It's on the red list of birds of concern. How rare is it to find skylarks in London? There are a few places, but I don't know where else I'd go around here to watch skylarks. This, this is great. They need short grassland well away from trees, so they need a big expanse of undisturbed, low, tussocky grassland. But they can be easily disturbed by people or dogs? They can, because it's not, it's not obvious that they're here, and people think, oh, lovely place to walk the dog, and, and unintentionally, across they go, the dog runs across the tussocky grassland, and then the skylarks are disturbed or faced off their nests. So it's um, very easy to do something that you wouldn't intend to. We're coming up to a crucial time, aren't we, Anne? Yes, the breeding season is just underway now. We have the birds singing today. They're establishing territories and attracting mates. So this is a crucial time, and this is why the park authorities have put up these signs and gateways. How aware have you been of the protected skylark area? Absolutely. I don't know how you can come and walk in the park without knowing the difficult areas here and there for dogs, like the skylark areas and around Penn Ponds, where you just uh, have to hook them on. And you're quite happy to do that, even though you've got dogs that love to run? Uh, no problem at all. No, Polly here, she loves to run, so she's actually hooked on all the time in Richmond Park, just in case she uh, decides to run. Lindy, we'll let her off here and there, because her recall's pretty good. Who have we got here? Starlight, the Labrador, a rescue dog. I have to be honest, we haven't spent so much time up the park during lockdown because it's just too busy. There's just too many people coming up here doing the wrong things, really. So as dog walkers, are you happy to keep her on a lead in areas like this? Oh, yes, absolutely. Obviously, there are areas where you have to take a little bit of extra care. Yeah, I mean, of course, everybody wants to enjoy the open space and it's fantastic, but this is a wildlife nature reserve. So people just need to be mindful of that and make sure that when they have got their dogs with them, they keep them on leads and they're just mindful of the wildlife around them, particularly near the deer. But of course, obviously, the skylarks are not so obvious, but, you know, at particular times of the year where the notices are up, just keep the dogs close to them. So what do you do when you come to this area? I keep them on the lead, as, as requested. You know, there's, there's so many places in this park we can go to and they can be off the leaves that if we have the odd place where they can't be free, it doesn't matter. Simon Richards has joined me here, the park manager. And Simon, I'm intrigued to know how COVID has affected the park. I mean, the numbers have been huge, haven't they, coming here? The park has never been busier. Um, this, this past weekend just shows how popular um, all parks have been, but particularly Richmond Park. And we have this real challenge with managing Richmond Park as a national nature reserve with 
huge numbers of people visiting us. So this is why we're here today, just to talk about some of our conservation initiatives. Because of the needs for people's social distance, um, people have probably been more spread out across the park than ever before. Um, they, you see people on paths, obviously, so paths have got wider, but it's just really just uh, people spreading across the parks into what are normally quite quiet areas. And obviously you do have some areas where it's very clearly protected. You don't want to be overdoing it with the fencing because the whole point of this is that it's wild and open and beautiful. But these signs are important. Yes, yeah, so what we're asking people to do, skylarks are elusive birds. They nest on the ground and um, we're more likely to hear them than you are see them a lot of the time. So we find particularly the nature of dogs, and we all, most of us own or have owned dogs, they tend to quest into grassland and that's where we get the disturbance. So for the next few months, we're asking our visitors to keep their dogs on leads in relatively small areas of the park, specifically to um, give the birds a chance to nest, raise their young and hopefully fledge off you know, some young birds. The Richmond Park is one of the few remaining sites in open sites in London where you can still see skylarks. They're so really important for us to try and do everything we can to protect them. So here is the message. The sign may not be very big, but it's hugely important. This is a protected skylark breeding area. Please keep your dogs on a lead. Keep using the park, but stick to the footpaths and do respect the wildlife. It's their park.